I might be. Uh, You're seeking some additional powers. Yeah, yeah, I might get the, the forty council rangers to gather on uh, the Parramatta border and take back Ten Yaddy. I think. Uh, so, <laughs> but anyway, but it, it just shows you the size of Blacktown, and I, I, I think, uh, yeah, should we have? I suppose addressing some of your questions as far as forced amalgamations or amalgamations, it should be up to the individual councils to make their decisions. But I, I, I'm totally against the idea of having this regional councils uh, or, uh, or a network of councils having a regional council that actually then buys in the HR, buys in the uh, contract cleaning, etc. If you want to have a large council, then have a large council. If you want to have a small council, for whatever reason you feel that uh, small is better, uh, which I don't accept that argument, because you know, having elected councillors, they represent smaller areas. We have five wards in Blacktown, you get to know your ward. I know my ward, and there's only three of us, probably is larger than probably 70% of the Northern Council councils. But I think what we ought to have is a mature debate on what we expect from our councils. If you're going to have a large council of more than 200,000, I'd say 250,000, then we should be looking at how do we remunerate these councils and how do we expect them to operate. You wouldn't expect a stadium fee, and Dad's commenting on this, to be a part-timer. Yeah, looking after 300,000 residents, you can imagine the amount of functions, because over the weekend I must have been at you know, eight to nine different functions, and the amount of people that come up to you and have individual issues. Now, yeah, as a working mayor, which is unusual in Blacktown, I think uh, hasn't happened since for the last 30 years, council staff have to kind of deal with me on a Tuesday, Wednesday basis, and every weeknight and weekends, uh, it burns you out. Yeah, just to be a part-timer. So instead of people having a go at councillors and saying, oh, look at these crazy councillors, which you probably get elected from a, you know, if you only got about 30,000 residents, you only need 1,500 votes to get elected, and God knows what platform you can get elected on, which makes, uh, as Ned was talking about, you know, the, the balance of power and trying to organise it all. What we should be saying is how do we properly resource the councillors and make sure we have professional councillors? We don't need, like in Blacktown, 15 uh, full-time councillors, but we should be looking at it. If you want a large council, you want it run professionally, we should be looking at uh, professional councillors, maybe five, just like on the state parliament where they have, uh, and Queensland does this, a lot of states around Australia have full-time councillors. That way they have the time and, and resources to address <coughs> constituents' concerns. 